Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll be having a look at hook swing predictions. We'll be looking into how you can predict and punish your enemy's movement when dueling in Battlefront 2. The hook swing prediction is a flashy way you can finish a duel or get a decent amount of damage in. It's definitely aimed at high level players but this video is beginner friendly. So if you already know what you're doing when it comes to hook swings and you want to get straight to the good stuff then you can skip this section with the timestamps below. But if not then let's get into some of the basics. So to hook swing or to do a hook swing prediction, you definitely need a sensitivity of at least 50%. This applies to the zoom sensitivity and soldier sensitivity. I have both zoomed and soldier sensitivity on 100% because that allows me to make movements faster, but as long as you have it on at least 50, then you can gradually build your way up. If you didn't already know, a hook swing is a move where you run shoulder to shoulder with your enemy and then jump to face the back, then you swing a mid air to get a hit past their block. It works best if you jump about a meter or two in front of them, as you can see where I've marked with the saber throw, as this will make it so that you're more likely to land the hit and it's not going to go too close to them or too far away. But the problem is, hook swings can be fairly easily avoided by dodging. So what do you do then? Well that's when the prediction comes in. When executed correctly, the hook swing prediction will make it so even though your enemy tries to dodge, you'll set yourself up so you're guaranteed to land the hook swing. So how do you learn the prediction? Well, we'll start by looking at the four primary ways you can predict your enemy's movement to find out where and when they're going to dodge, and those ways are to count their dodges, to look at their walking direction, to find repeatable patterns in their movement, and to think of their point of view. If you can master all four of these aspects of movement, then you'll find an easy time predicting where your enemy's going, and then it's just a matter of punishing. I'll be showing a couple clips now to illustrate the four aspects of movement that I just said, and we're starting off with counting dodges. Now if you didn't know, you have a dodge cycle next to your health bar, which tells you how many dodges you have, and they take a second to regenerate. You can see here that after I get the Vader low, he dodges twice, so I know for certain that he doesn't have any dodges left in his cycle, which means it's pretty much guaranteed if I go for the hook swing, I'll land it. Now not all enemies will just spam their dodges, once you start fighting more experienced enemies, they'll be timing their dodges to try and avoid you, so you have to keep in mind how many dodges your enemy has left in their cycle. You can see here that my enemy was out of dodges after they used the heroic might, so I waited until they regenerated a dodge before going for the prediction. You can practice counting dodges by going to literally any one of the dueling montages on my channel and just keeping in mind how many dodges my enemies have left by counting them. Next we'll be looking at a really sneaky trick and that's to look at the direction that your enemy is walking. You'll be surprised but this actually works. When you get your enemy low, they'll usually be walking in a certain direction. Here my enemy is walking to their left, so I predict that they're going to dodge that way. This actually works pretty consistently. Here my enemy is already low, so after I get close to them with the thrust surge, you can see that they're walking backwards, so I'm predicting that they're going to dodge backwards. Some more advanced enemies won't do this and they might actually try to throw you off with their walking direction, but most enemies will tend to dodge in the direction that they're walking. For our third movement topic, we'll be looking at patterns. This only works with specific enemies that like to dodge in a certain direction, but it's good to take note of it when it happens. Here my enemy was dodging in a big circle every time he got low. You can see that he was going to dodge to the left, and then the left again, and then the left again, so I predicted it after the third time. Some common patterns amongst duelists include just dodging backwards when they get low. Or to dodge outwards and then back inwards. This one's much more specific and only really applies to more narrow maps. Our last super underrated way to predict your enemy's movement is to look at it from their point of view. In this clip here, my enemy is not going to dodge backwards or forwards because that's where I am, so that leaves left or right diagonally, and I chose my right because it usually feels more comfortable to dodge into the dueling zone. This is one example of looking at someone else's point of view. In this clip, I was in a party with the enemy and he was trying not to get clipped by me, so he's not going to dodge into me because that's usually how I predict him, so you can see he dodged backwards and then I just predicted that he would do that again. So now you hopefully have a decent understanding of ways that you can predict your enemy's movement. With practice, they'll feel more natural and once you get the hang of it, they actually get pretty easy. So now we're going to be looking at some ways that you can punish your enemy's movement once you know where they're going. The first is to run at your enemy to fake them out and then run in the direction you think they're going to dodge. This is the one that I overuse a lot and is super satisfying, maybe one of the most satisfying things you can do in the game. 
The other way is to position yourself by either dodging or running in the direction that you think they're going to go and then jump attack. In other words, you're just putting yourself where they're going to dodge so that they dodge into your attack. This one works well with some of the patterns I was talking about earlier. If you couldn't tell by how short that section was, the prediction part is by far the hardest part of doing the prediction. Once you know where your enemy's going, doing the actual punish move is not hard at all and it will only take an hour or so to perfect. So that's pretty much it for this video. I was going to spend some more time on the punishing, but there's not really much else to cover. Those are the two ways that I use the most, with the running into them and then in the direction that they're going, the most overused one for sure. So that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing for more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content. And with that being said, I'll see you out on the Battlefront.